In this video, we're going to look into the concept of trading confluence, how it can take your trading strategy to the next level, whatever strategy you're using. And it doesn't matter if you're new trading or you're looking to get better, whatever you're doing now, uh, understanding confluence is pretty important for making better decisions. So let's get started here. What is confluence? It just refers to the coming together of multiple factors or indicators that support a trading decision. It's like having multiple signposts pointing in the same direction, giving you a clear path to follow. You know, think of you're driving down the road and you see multiple road signs all pointing to the same destination. Well, that's what confluence is. It's when different things align to confirm a potential trade setup. So to identify confluence, you got to analyze price action and some technical indicators. And price action, that involves looking at the movement of prices on the chart. And you want to identify patterns like support resistance levels. You want to see trend lines and, of course, chart patterns. Technical indicators, think of moving averages, oscillators, and even volume. Those can all further validate whatever decision you're making. So if you see a bullish reversal candle and it's forming at a key support level and the stochastic oscillator indicates oversold, well, that's a bit of a confluence there of price action and technical indicators suggesting a high probability trade setup, especially if we're in an overall uptrend. But it's not just the charts. We can also evaluate fundamental factors and market sentiment. You know, fundamental factors, that's like economic data, news events, geopolitical developments. All of those can impact the markets. And for some of us, myself included, that's a little bit over my head. But if you want to check out some market indicators, look at the Consumer Confidence Index, the Volatility Index, that's the VIX, it's the Fear and Greed Indicator. And this can help provide some insights into the overall mood and sentiment of the market. Now let's talk about something that's really important, and it's the reward to risk ratio. And this is really important for making good decisions. It's like you're calculating the distance to your destination, and you're weighing it against the potential rewards of the trip. And all this does is it measures the potential loss compared to the potential gain in a trade. So I want you to think you're considering a breakout strategy. The entry price is $50. You're putting a stop loss level at 45 and the target price, 60 bucks. So in this scenario, the potential risk is $5. That's the difference between your entry price and the stop loss. The potential reward is $10, and that's the difference between the target price and your entry price, and that gives you an R to R ratio of 1 to 2. Now, once you enter a trade based on this confluence, your work's not done. you got to monitor the price action and reassess the confluence of factors to ensure the trade remains favorable. It's like we're just adjusting our route based on the real-time traffic update that we're getting. Having clear criteria for making your adjustments or even considering an exit, such as a predefined profit target and trailing stops, these can help you make rational decisions, protect your capital. When you identify and you analyze multiple factors, multiple indicators that support your trading decision, you can make better trades. Now, it's not a guaranteed method for success. Okay, nothing is, but with some practice, some good risk management, and a well defined trading plan that's vital. This can become an invaluable tool. I hope you found this video useful. If you need any more information on anything, trading strategies, options, reach out to our support staff, support at netpicks.com. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Hit that little notification bell so you don't miss an update. We'll see you in the next video.